protein chip review. Today, we are looking at every mainstream protein chip on the market, including some stuff that I was just really have been wanting to try, along with protein pretzels, protein puffs, and even pork rinds. I've done a couple videos in this series so far. I did a protein bar review. I did a pre-made shake review and people always tune in to watch it. And I also just really enjoy shooting this content. I have a deep love of food science. I love grocery shopping. And so anytime I go to the store and I see something new, I get a little excited about trying it and talking about it. And included with that, even like yesterday, I was at Vitamin Shop. I just wanted to see if there's any products I hadn't seen before and they had these puffs. So I was like, oh, this is perfect. One, they actually passed the protein test and two, I've never tried them. And from so far, most of the products I've tried from Quest, like their muffins recently, um, they have this like, um, this crackers, they're all delicious. So I was really excited to add this to the mix. And that's basically what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be trying new products. We're gonna be talking about products that I already know about and telling you what do I think about the macros and do they actually fucking taste good? And would I buy them and keep them in my cupboard at home? I will tell you personally, I'm really into the protein chip segment. I just, I have PE Science in my cupboard that's a protein powder, um, but I, I don't really use a lot of protein powder this, this point in my life, guys. And it's not because there's anything wrong with protein powder. The war on protein powder is complete bullshit. It's just, I don't know, tuna fish, protein powder, like I'm kind of over those that stage of my life. So I still drink pre-made shakes from time to time. Actually, I had one this morning. Um, I definitely still have like legendary Pop-Tarts or a Built Bar from time to time. But protein chips is probably my favorite protein food supplement presently out there. Like I actually enjoy opening up a bag of Quest chips and having it alongside with like a uh, turkey sandwich or having it alongside with like a bison burger or something like that. It's a great way to help me supplement my protein that I actually look forward to having. I, there's no part of me that thinks like throwing a couple scoops of protein and shaking it up is appetizing at this point in my life. But let's get straight into the review and I think it's only appropriate that we start first and foremost with Quest. So looking at the macros, 140 calories, 19 grams of protein, and this is basically where all of the chips are. They're all around 140 calories, 19 grams of protein for each and every single one of the Quest chips. I have had every single flavor of Quest chips, and myself personally, I really like this spicy chili, and then I also really like the chili lime, which is in the green bag, will pop in an image up above. Those are my favorite two flavors of the Quest chips. They just have a very kind of uh, uh, spicy, savory flavor to them. And I think they knock it out of the park with that. I think that's where they have the best flavors. I also do like the loaded taco as well. And from time to time, I like the um, hot and spicy, like they call it like the ghost chip. I think the one in the black bag, I think those are very good as well, but they're, but they're those are very, very spicy. So I've had these Quest chips before, but just for fun, we're gonna try one of the flavors. I'm gonna go with barbecue. I haven't had this in forever. Again, because I mostly eat the spicy flavored of the Quest chips. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. That's really good. So the way that they make whey protein You've heard like the old nursery rhyme, separating the curds from the whey. So basically what they do is they separate through that through that process and then the curds become things like cheese. And then the whey itself is taken and then they heat it and you become this powder form. So what they did with these chips, with any of these protein chips that we're talking about today, is they then take that whey after it's in powder form and then they just put seasoning in it. Like the same way they put flavoring if it was chocolate whey. So they take the whey and they use a chocolate flavoring for it. That's how you have chocolate whey protein. In this case, they're just using like a barbecue seasoning with the whey and they're sprinkling it on the chips. If I was in the mood for barbecue chips, this is completely 100% would fulfill that craving. And that's what I really love these chips for. Cause I think they're really, really fucking satiating. Awesome. We had to start with Quest because they're these OGs. They're the original ones in the game. And now the legendary chips have come out and a lot of people are really enjoying them. So I wanna talk about them next. Very similar macros, 140 calories, 19 grams of protein, 150 calories, 20 grams of protein. I personally prefer Quest. The reason why I just think they're more flavorful 
uh, and they just taste more like a true chip. The advantage to Legendary is clearly there's more chip. This is a bigger bag. Technically, this only weighs two grams more than this bag, but there's more surface volume. This is a higher volume food, meaning there's more going into your stomach for about the equivalent amount of calories. I personally don't like that. I don't like a very like light, fluffy chip. I'd rather just bite in and get all the flavor. But having said that, they're still very, very good chips. I have not tried this flavor yet, but this is the pizza flavor. Take a look at it and just see, like, look at this. Compare the two chips. Like this is much more like fluffy. It's more voluminous than these chips. But again, I like a lot of flavoring on mine. I like it very condensed. It has a true chip flavor. Good. This is excellent. It's very good. I personally, again, I'm gonna go Quest all day versus this. But again, I see why a lot of people really enjoy these. I've had the barbecue, I've had the ranch. Personally, out of all the flavors, I'm just not a nacho cheese guy. Those are the four flavors they offer. They offer pizza, they offer barbecue, they offer nacho, and they offer ranch. Out of all the flavors I've tried, I like the barbecue the best. Great, again, I'm gonna go Quest all day versus those. The next real big chip that you see everybody talking about is wild protein chip. These macros, in my opinion, suck. I do not even consider these a protein chip but a lot of people are into them. They're 210 calories, they're 13 grams of protein. These do not pass our protein test. Remember, you take the grams of protein, you add a zero to it, does it have that many calories or less? This is 210 calories with 13 grams of protein. So it fails our protein test. As a matter of fact, this actually has more grams of fat in it, or pardon me, more calories from the fat than it does the protein. It has 13 grams of fat, you multiply that number by nine because every gram of fat has nine calories in it. We're looking at something that's way more caloric than the 13 grams of protein, which you multiply by four because every gram of protein only has four calories in it. So the majority of the calories in this chip are coming from the fat. Let's see how they taste. I've tried them before. I tried the, um, the chicken waffle, I believe it was. It wasn't my thing. Let's try the buffalo. And this is, oh my God, when I did this a video originally, everybody was ripping on me because it took me forever to open up the fucking bag. Yeah, I can just already tell, this is not my thing. This has some tang to it, this is the buffalo. It's actually really good. It's better than I remember these chips being. Okay. I'll give them that. The taste is good. However, again, the macro suck. I'm gonna compare the barbecue to the barbecue here and see if they stack up at all. And again, I'm already team Quest because the macros on the Quest are just way, way better. And again, their bag is easier to open as well. Let's try this bad boy. It's good. It's very good. If I was in the mood for chips, this would uh, curb that craving. This would be enough for me. I'm gonna cleanse my palate. Other quest better. Okay. So out of the two, again, I'm team quest. And these macros in comparison suck in comparison to quest. This is why, again, I said, the led with, Quest is my favorite chip. The next one I'm gonna try, just sticking with all of our chips first. I found these online. They're called Wholesome Provisions, and they have a series of chips. They have salt and vinegar, and they also have barbecue. I believe they have one more flavor. I think it's sea salt. But I'm gonna try the barbecue, so we can just keep an apples to apples comparison and see how these stack up. These have 140 calories, with 15 grams of protein. This is 130 calories with 15 grams of protein. Both of these have inferior macros to Quest. However, these do pass the test and they do have fiber. And Quest chips do not have much fiber. They have one gram of fiber. This has six grams of fiber. So this is an awesome option in your diet. We got protein, we got fiber in a convenient chip form. But let's see how they actually taste. Again, this is Wholesome Provisions. This is their barbecue flavor. 
So, okay, it feels like I'm eating a diet chip. It's not bad. It's just the standard is so fucking high because of Quest. If Quest didn't exist, and I tried this, I'd be like, oh, these are great. The problem is Quest exists. Let's compare it to Wild. This is better. Okay. So, I think again, Quest wins in taste. Macros on wholesome provision, fine, they're good because they have the fiber. If I had to pick chips here, I'd probably go Quest, then probably wholesome provision, then legendary out of the chips that we've tried here so far today. But again, I think by a mile, Quest is winning this thing. The last chip that I wanna to talk to is about Atkins. I used to be able to find this at Target, and I used to be able to find this at Wegmans, but recently they've come off the shelf. So I don't know if they're discontinuing it or what it is. I had to order them from Amazon. Thankfully, they got here in time. I will tell you flat out, this flavor, the Chipotle barbecue, is my single favorite tasting protein chip in the game. Overall, I think Quest has the best chips, but this one particular flavor, the Atkins Chipotle barbecue protein chip, unbelievably good. Calories, 140 calories, 13 grams of protein, four grams of fiber. This doesn't pass the protein test. Wholesome Provisions actually is a better chip in terms of macros than Atkins is. Quest obviously passes the protein test. This one close, but does not. It does have fiber, however. But again, if I'm gonna give it to the macros, I'm gonna give it to Quest again. That's really good. So what happened with Atkins is Atkins actually bought Quest. It was a parent company that owns Atkins that bought Quest. And when they bought Quest, they started coming out with their own protein chip line. So they were inspired by Quest with this flavor. That is so tangy. It has that spice to it. Yeah, this is my single favorite protein chip out there. Just because it has that barbecue taste and then it adds the spice to it. It heats it up at the end. Again, I think Quest is the clear winner, but my favorite tasting is this flavor above all. But I would go Quest, and then I would go Wholesome Provisions, and then I would go Legendary if I was looking to buy strictly a protein chip. Now we're gonna bounce into some of the puffs and talk about those. We've got Crunchy Protein Puffs by Quest here. 130 calories, 17 grams of protein. This passes the protein test. It's got zero grams of fire. I am not a puff guy. I typically don't like puffs. I really like chips. I don't like puffs. This bag isn't hard to open, it just happens to be really small. I'm strong, I promise, I work out. Okay, these are cheesy puffs. I think they taste exactly like real puffs. So there's that. If you're into puffs, I definitely think you'll be into those. I'm not into puffs, so it's not a fair judgment, but I'm gonna try these barbecue, because I typically prefer the taste of a barbecue chip over a cheesy chip. Okay, 130 calories, 17 grams of protein. These pass the protein test, these Quest Puffs. I'm not a Puff guy, but I have tried several, several different protein puffs over the years. This is the single best protein puff that I have tried because it tastes exactly like a real puff. So if you're into puffs, you really, really freaking like these. These, I'm actually gonna give to Monty, my camera guy, after we get off camera, because I don't wanna waste food, because I'm not gonna eat these. I'm gonna finish all these chips though. This is the company One. I got this at Vitamin Shop. This is the same company that makes One protein bars, which I've always said is the dark horse of the protein bar segment, like everybody sleeps on it. Very similar taste to Quest, just a little bit softer with a lot of unique flavors. And I'm having this spicy nacho. 150 calories, 14 grams of protein, does not pass our protein test, one gram of fiber. So Quest already beats it out when it comes to macros. Hmm. Let's compare the two. Quest wins. Quest wins. Better macros, better taste. I promise I'm not paid by Quest. I don't have any relationship to Quest whatsoever. There's some products of theirs that I absolutely don't like, like their original cookie. 
it's shit, but really Quest just, they don't fuck up. They just, they got you in their sights. They just, they know exactly what they're doing at this point. And they come out with quality after quality product. I mean, they got a puff that passes the test and it actually tastes exactly like a freaking puff. This barbecue chip tastes exactly like a barbecue chip. They make quality, quality products. This is a small company, crisp power, but it's growing. It was in Costco. They got removed from Costco. Now they're back in Costco and they essentially make protein pretzels with really, really good macros. It was 110 calories. It's 15 grams of protein while having six grams of fiber. So of anything that we looked at so far today, this is the best macros. It has the highest protein to calorie ratio of anything we've looked at while at the same time having a lot of freaking fiber in it. So macros wise, this is the best product that we've looked at. Now again, this is more like a pretzel than it is a chip. It's not strictly like apples to apples. It's like a, a red apple, a red delicious versus a green apple kind of comparison, but it is a savory protein option. And I did a video where I posted on Instagram about these. And what I said is they don't taste exactly like pretzels, but if I was in the mood for a pretzel, this would kind of like, that would satisfy that craving. However, they don't taste exactly like a pretzel. What they taste like is something that's been baked and it has everything seasoning on it. So it has like pretzel flavor to it. Well, not exactly being a pretzel. Again, though, tastes incredible. Tastes awesome. Insane macros. I don't know what it is, but I just really have, like love the company as well. They messaged me. They sent me their product. Um, I've talked to the owner several times. I have a heart for small business. So if you're into pretzels, I also love, you know, they, they were in Costco. They got removed from Costco. They're coming back to Costco. I love that. Whatever went wrong the first time, clearly they're doing well enough that Costco wants to take a chance on them a second time. They're highly likable. The macros are insane and the taste is phenomenal. If you're into pretzels, which I am, this is an awesome option. And by the way, my wife, she loves these and she's not a fitness lover like me. She's a partner in accounting firm. So if she likes the taste of something, I always know it's good to go. So that is our protein pretzel review. They have three flavors. Uh, this is the everything. They also have sesame and they also have sea salt. I personally like the sesame the most and then the sea salt. So those are the flavors that I would recommend you trying if you were to go buy some protein pretzels. Man, this has been delicious. Okay, next up, pork rinds. These are by Epic. Here's the thing guys with pork rinds. Both of these products pass the test. This is 70 calories, 11 grams of protein, pass the test. This is 80 calories, eight grams of protein. It just barely passes the test. However, a lot of times these are very high in fat. So each of these, the serving is a half an ounce. It's basically one third the serving size of this. And at the same time, they're high in fat. So just really watch your fat intake, especially your saturated fat intake, because if you sit down and you eat this entire bag, you're gonna have quite a bit of fat about you're gonna end up with 10 grams of saturated fat in one sitting. It's not the end of the world, it's also 800 calories. It's not the end of the world, but you just wanna be mindful of your saturated fat intake because it will affect things like your A1C, it will affect things like your LDL and your VDL. So just or, uh, your uh, very low density lipoprotein. So just be very mindful because there's a lot of fat in this product, even though the macros do pass the test. These are high protein, but they are not a lean protein source. So I'm gonna try the pink Himalayan sea salt. And I've had these before and I know these taste good. And again, my wife loves these as well. So again, if she likes them, they're actually good. There you go. You can see it. You can compare it. That's what I talked about with like legendary. It has that very fluffy kind of taste. It's not my thing. I don't like this kind of like fluffy chip. I like a crispy. Right, I don't want something that's like light and fluffy. Give me like the fry, like that. Mm, like bunch, bite into it, there's a crunch. This is fine. I would never buy this product outside of the point of shooting this video. From my perspective, Quest is number one when it comes to strictly a protein chip. Then I would go Wholesome Provisions, then I would go Legendary Chip. And the reason I say that again is because remember, I don't like that light fluffy chip. If you like the light fluffy chip, 
Give Legendary a try. That might even be your favorite trip out of here. I definitely would not spend my money on Wild. There's just too many quality products out there. The macros on this chip, they suck. It's not even a high protein chip. It's a high fat chip. Don't waste your time with it. If you're into pretzels, Chris Power, phenomenal. Small business, love supporting small business. It tastes awesome and has the single best macros of any sort of protein chip that we looked at today. If you're into puffs, Quest has entered the game and they are killing it because they taste exactly like puffs. I'm not into puffs, so I will never be buying this again. I will literally be handing this to my videographer saying, hey, go ahead and eat this because I'm not going to. Again, Quest to me, number one chip. Chris Power, if you're into pretzels, that's the way to go. Quest has entered the puff game. And thank you for tuning in. Hope you learned something today. Hope you're interested in trying some of these products. I've really found protein chips to be a game changer for me, whether it's late night snacking or if I just want some sort of protein to supplement like a sandwich or a burger. Every week we release one long format video here on YouTube. Uh, I release shorts every single day here on YouTube. If you don't follow me on Instagram, that's where the majority of my following is. I'm even on TikTok, even though it hasn't done jack shit for my life, but I'm on there and I've got a lot of followers on there. Thanks for tuning in. I really enjoyed shooting this. It was a lot of fun. It was very tasty. It reminded me why I love Quest chips so freaking much and reminded me why I really am enjoying these Chris Power pretzels very, very much. Thanks for tuning in, guys.